What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some upcoming WWE Elites and Basics. Most of these come from my boy Tommy Slab on YouTube and Instagram. He is from Canada. He's always getting the news on the brand new figures coming up. So definitely want to go give him a follow. He is always up to date and he will be posting them on his Instagram if you have one of those. So definitely go check him out. But let's go ahead and get straight into these figures. So the first figure we're looking at right here, guys, is an upcoming NXT TakeOver Target exclusive Aleister Black Elite looking absolutely fantastic. You know, it literally looks like the real thing here. You got the Aleister Black logo behind the figure there. Um, it comes with the entrance vest and all this. And you would think that this is official by the packaging and everything. You know, it looks totally right and official. But if you'll notice in that yellow square near the top of the box, it does say custom figure for something for action figure collectors of worldwide or something that's not good english this this is not real it clearly says custom figure there which is you know disappointing but you know maybe coming up at comic con we will get an alistair black elite i'm very sure of it you know there are going to be tons of figures shown at San Diego Comic-Con, so I'm hoping that Alistair Black will be one of those figures. But this is a good insight at what it could possibly be. But I did get this in a random email, and they said, you know, upcoming Elite Alistair Black. I was totally psyched for it, so I clicked on it, you know, analyzed everything. The head scan and everything isn't the best, obviously, but I think that... It, you know, looked official until I saw that little custom figure thing, but it does, that does suck. However, this person did a fantastic job on the box as well as the figure. I mean, this looks like an official Aleister Black, but uh, I guess we can move on. And hopefully, again, like I said, at Comic-Con, we will get an upcoming Aleister Black. The next figure we have is this Elite 61 Fandango figure, guys, and the head scan and torso is just way too big. I mean, the, tor the head scan is not too big, but the torso and arms are way too massive and, you know, ripped up. You know, the head scan, he's had the same exact head scan for like five years, guys. Ever since his first figure, he has not changed his head scan, and that's really annoying. They really do need to update that. Figure looks great, though, from the waist down. I am excited about having updated Fashion Police Elites instead of, you know, the battle pack that we got a few weeks ago. But I'm excited to see what Tyler Breeze looks like. You know, this Fandango figure isn't the best, but it's not the worst. I am going to be glad to update my Elite 27 Fandango, so I'll still probably pick it up and switch the torso. Next up, we do have this Ultimate Warrior figure, guys, and it looks like, you know, it was right before he passed away. You got the white pants with the Ultimate Warrior logo on his chest and the face paint. You know, he's got his short hair, his gray uh, facial hair and head skin. This is supposed to be his, you know, one of 15, I believe, you know, the, the one of the most rare figures ever made by Mattel, but they are apparently re-releasing it as an exclusive or a different series. Not sure exactly just yet what it will be. But that is what it looks like we are getting. You know, this is posted by Tommy, and that's what he said. He said it's probably going to be some sort of exclusive or something like that. I'm not the biggest Warrior fan, but it is cool to see this figure if it is going to be re-released. Next up, we have a Roman Reigns basic, guys, and it is his No Mercy 2017 attire with the gold and black with his updated vest on there. And what I'll probably do with this is switch the uh, the vest. I'll put it on a Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive Roman Reigns to give him the gold gauntlets and then probably pop like an Elite 56 head scan on there. That'll make this figure really look nice. You know, there's really no other point to grab this figure unless you're going to be converting it into an Elite. I just cannot stand the new basics. They ruined them with the arm articulation, but it is cool to get this vest. You know, I cannot wait to, you know, get it, put it on an Elite and see what the Elite conversion looks like. But that pretty much does it for all the new figures, guys. There are a few more that I am uh, probably going to be showing you guys, but I'm not exactly sure. But uh, with Comic-Con coming up very, very soon, it is going to be some exciting stuff. You know, tons of new WWE figures will be shown, and I'll definitely be covering them here on the channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, again, the Alistair Black looks incredible, but unfortunately, it is not going to be coming soon. Hopefully, again, like I said, at San Diego Comic-Con, we'll get an Aleister Black, but that figure that was shown in this video is not official. You know, it is a custom that somebody did really good work on the box. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Look out for the new figures coming out soon here on the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.